All right, it's the gift that keeps on giving. This World Cup has been absolutely fantastic, and today was another bonkers day in Qatar. Two perennial world favorites eliminated, not going to the knockout rounds. I'm going to break down everything going on with the story, give you my two cents, and what the tournament has for us moving forward. But if you could first, drop a quick like on this video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. New videos every single weekday. But let's get into it. Man, it was a crazy day in Qatar at the World Cup. One of the perennial favorites, Germany, everybody's favorite. World Cup winners just two cycles ago are eliminated in dramatic fashion today. Even after a 4-2 win over Costa Rica, all they needed to do was get a result out of Spain and Japan, not in Japan's favor. But the Japanese stunning back wind come from behind, they were down one nothing against Spain, they came from behind, they won the game 2-1, essentially sealing the fate of the Germans, and Spain moves ahead of Germany based on goal differential after an absolute trouncing of Costa Rica in the opening game, 7-1. This is now back-to-back -back World Cups the Germans have failed to make the knockout stages, and this is coming off the heels of a World Cup title in 2014 in Brazil. This was the best team in the world just eight years ago, and now they have completely fallen off the map. I don't know what the Germans are going to do. How does an entire country forget how to play soccer? Win the damn World Cup, forgets how to play soccer. Absolutely insane stuff. But that wasn't the only shocker this morning. So we have Japan and Spain moving on. Japan, your group winner. We're going to break down how this really benefited Spain, honestly. But this morning, Croatia and Belgium going to a nil-nil draw. That knocked the number two world-ranked Belgiums out of the tournament. This golden generation for Belgium is over, and it yielded nothing. No World Cup Finals appearances. I don't even think they got a third place. I don't even know if they made the semifinals. This is a team that never lived up to the hype. We have some of the all-time greats playing this past 8 to 12 years, and it's just another letdown for Belgium. Their coach resigned or was fired right after the game. Just absolute heartbreak. Croatia played like the team that was living that needed the goal to win. Croatia advances on the tie. I just can't believe it. And the big, big shocker out of this group, Morocco. Yes, Morocco of all countries winning this group with an upset win this morning. Also, unbelievable stuff out of this World Cup. It's been fantastic. We saw Mexico get sent home yesterday. Now the Belgians and the Germans getting sent home. Italy already wasn't even in this World Cup, and they're the sixth-ranked team in the world. It's absolutely crazy what it's delivered for us. But let's look down at this bracket. We're pretty much all set here. We got the Dutch and the United States kicking things off, Argentina and Australia. This is a solid side of the bracket here. This is going to be a tough game, whoever comes out of here. Japan and Croatia, very favorable matchup for both teams. I don't think anybody had this as the matchup, and they're waiting the winner of Group G, who's going to be Brazil. This is going to be Brazil out of Group G, and second place out of group, a group H. That's a lot to be determined. Probably Ghana, might be Uruguay, don't know. And then here on the other side of the bracket, England and Senegal, France and Poland. I'm looking at an England-France matchup. We already know these two countries hate each other. They've only been going to war for thousands of years, so why not put them to get against each other in the modern-day war of a World Cup? Morocco and Spain, this is why this benefits Spain. Spain coming in second in the group when they were really, all they needed was a point to win the group. Getting knocked down to this side of the bracket, they get Morocco, which was the surprise group winner over here. And then they're going to avoid Brazil. This was the big one. Brazil's going to be sitting right here in group uh, 1G. So they avoid Brazil. And they're probably going to get Portugal here in 1H and 2G. So maybe Switzerland. So this is looking like a real clean spot to the semifinals here. Spain. They're one of the best teams. I think they're ranked sixth in the world uh, coming up. But we got one day left of the regular rounds. Like I said here, Brazil over here leading this group. Switzerland probably getting out with three points. Okay, they still got to play Serbia, I believe, tomorrow. Let's take a look at the schedule. Yeah, it's uh, Camer uh, Switzerland and Serbia. Cameroon probably doesn't stand much of a chance of Brazil. Brazil will probably play for a draw. Get that fourth point, or get that seventh point, I should say, and lock up the group. So I'm looking at Switzerland coming out here. Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, and South Korea. Portugal's already through. Ghana's probably going to get out of this group. They are playing Uruguay, I believe. Yes, Uruguay and Ghana. So Uruguay, a team that's really was kind of a dark horse favorite to come out of this tournament. 
and maybe going on a deep run. Re needs to get a win. Needs to get a, needs to advance. Pagana, really experienced team. They seem to play great in the World Cup. Maybe not as good as some of the teams they've had in the past, but still a really talented team, and they always seem to rise to the occasion. What a fantastic World Cup this has been. We're getting into the knockout stages. Round of 16 coming up starting on Saturday morning. Everybody tune in, 9 a.m., the United States against the Netherlands to start things off. It's been a fantastic World Cup. It should get everybody jacked up why we love soccer and why everyone can get together every four years, support their countries. It's just so much fun. It's an absolute blast. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Who was the biggest disappointment in this tournament not making it to the knockouts? Was it Belgium? Was it Germany? Maybe was it Mexico? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you all tomorrow.